we start this coverage at the two thirds point of the climb. Unfortunately, the middle third, our former champion, Crosimodo, now entering the veterans event, um, he struggled and, well, he walked, let's admit it, he walked. But you know, this is as steep as an alpine climb or Pyrenean climb. And he's 51 today. He's looking forward to another car tomorrow after the one that he's got today, saying 51 today because he's 52 tomorrow. No, he doesn't have a birthday every year. Sorry, he does have a birthday every year. He doesn't have a birthday every day. And he's not very good at cycling and talking. Whoa! And dealing with slip gears. He's already come off his bike once today when caught by surprise by traffic at a junction. So, some of the time you'll see a silhouette. Most of the time you'll hear me breathing this difficult, with this difficulty. And some of the time I'll be out of my saddle and you'll see my lower body. You can't see the gradient, but maybe you can imagine it. What's the longest climb you've done? I think in the Alps I've climbed for a couple of hours without putting my feet down. Alp Duies, can't remember my time, but I was on a mountain bike. Car behind. Safer to borrow. Gives me a chance for a breather. I need more than that for a breather. There's a tractor coming. So it's a bigger breather. And I can put this card away. Proof that it wasn't stopping for no reason or you can't see it. Maybe you heard it. Maybe you think it was a sound effect added later. Anyhow, we're back on the climb again. Still a third to go. And have to adjust these gears because Crossy Modo is slipping between first and second gear and he needs his first gear. He didn't calculate and adjust his gears correctly. He needed larger cogs at the back and smaller cogs at the front to create the right gear ratio for this hill. But he's beginning to settle into his stride. He can do this in first gear without getting fully out of breath. It's probably unpleasant to listen to, but anyhow, here he is. Second gear. Oh, third. Ambitious. Out of the saddle, pumping. <coughs> It levels off a bit here, but Paul doesn't have the strength to go faster because he's recovering and he doesn't 
recover as quickly as he used to. But this is his intended route on every dry day in Wales. And not too busy with other things. Second, third, ambitious. Six minutes of climbing and counting. That's even, that's just what I say, the last third of the climb. So what, is it about an 18 minute climb? Possibly. It's a one minute to send. <laughs> Maybe a little more. Okay, for the rest of the climb, there's a little, little drop. Whizzing along now. Last hundred yards. Third gear. Hundred over a hundred revolutions a minute. Okay, that's fine. Eighty-five revolutions a minute. I estimate. Now. Still in third gear. And eight minutes. That's the last third of the climb. Thank you. Bye bye.